I'm gonna do something actually ridiculous. I'm gonna order almost everything on the entire menu. I'm Janine Lee St. John here at Brasserie Palmier at the soon to be open Four Seasons Bangkok on the historic Chow Phraya River. Close your eyes and try to feel the vibe. You almost get the sense of the French Riviera, a place where it's all about seafood forward cuisine, dishes you can eat all day while drinking rosé and champagne waterside. This is something that though I love to eat, I feel like I should do with a friend. I've got my favorite foodie, Pat Pitakanon, here to uh, join me over this ridiculous, massive meal. Hi, Pat. Hi, Janine. How do you feel about French food? I love French food. Okay, that's really good because we have so much of it coming this afternoon. Are I you can't ready? Wait. Yeah, me neither. Yes. Bring it. Let's go. So, round one. Yes. Small bites, aperitif, comte croquettes, mm. aqua de poisson, house marinated sardines, mm. and grilled octopus. octopus. Cheers! Cheers! Cheese croquettes first. Fingers. Fingers. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> so cheesy. I want to eat more of this. It's just full of cheese, which mm. is all you want. <laughs> Next. Okay, fish cakes. Go on in. Okay, let's do it. So what's cool about the fish cakes mm. is that actually it's like the catch of the day. So right. the chef just changes it based on what's freshest that day. What do you say next, octopus? Cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's like the perfect texture. Mm. It's kind of like bamboo bling. Onto the house marinated sardines. Sardines. Put the whole thing in my mouth. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you have to do it too. It's like salty, mm -hmm. there's tomato, good herbs. Mm, I like this one. Olive oil. Mm -hmm. Okay, so should we start with oysters first? Yes, we should. I'm gonna put a little bit of lime. Let me get mine in order. <laughs> and... It's a little fresh, mm -hmm. light and a bit briny. But fresh. Yeah. Good. Next. Okay, blue dress. Do you have one of them? I got one. Okay, great. Okay. This one is so much bigger. Mine's tiny. Well, I feel like it'll also pack a punch. Let's see. I like this one. It's really It is really creamy. creamy. Mm. Mm. In a good way. It's like hefty. You could eat this as a meal. Ready? Last one. Tascaya. Do you have one? No, I Go. thank you very much. Chef's right. This is actually mm. like briny, mm -hmm. salty, but also quite like meaty. There's like some cream on the finish. A combination of the two. And mm. last, fresh, mag mag lei, na kha, and ko anti song, creamy, mag. So anti three, ko kue pen combination kong tang anti one ka anti two. Okay. Shrimpies. Shrimps. Okay. Banana, Banana prawns. prawns. Are you gonna suck the head? I'm not a head sucker. We honestly. have to suck the head. All right, well, you it. you can. You're. Mmm. Hua wan ma kha. How is it? Oh, so good. Firm. It's like the perfect shrimp cocktail. Shrimp. Mm. All right. I'm doing it. Okay. All right, Janine. Tiger prawns. Let's do it. The wow, beast. This is huge. Yeah. Oh my god. Mmm. How is it, Janine? Oh, it's so good. Mm. Honestly, these are just like the perfect texture. So good. Mm. Super fresh. Should we go back to mollusks? Shall we start with the kiwi mussels? Let's do it. All right. Flown in from New Zealand. It tastes like it just came from the sea mm -hmm. right now. Clams. All right. Diamond clams. Just cheers. I love clams. I like that. They're actually some of my favorite mollusks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welts. Also from France. Also from France. Straight? Straight. Okay. Straight up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip a little. Okay. Super delicious cold, but that would be so good in like a black bean stir fry. Mm -hmm. Did you know that Four Seasons Bangkok is actually built next to one of the oldest seafood markets no in Bangkok? No way. I know, right? Mm. It actually makes sense with this French restaurant being here because when France first came to Thailand, they adjusted their flavors and incorporated local mm. seafood. So it's like a nice, like, you know, Brasserie Palmier, seafood market next door. Mm. Onto the lobster. Okay. 
North Atlantic lobster is mm. super sweet mm -hmm. and at its prime, you should be able to just, no sauce, no butter. Mm. You know, it's actually better to have smaller lobsters because okay. the meat is more tender. Right, this is a good size. Yeah, it's this a perfect a size. size lobster. Last guy on the tower. Right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Can you eat a scallop? Yes. Just one. Tender, yet mm. firm, a little bit spicy. Very smooth. Yeah. It's got some good mm. citrus in there. What was your favorite item on this Tower of Delights? Um, I like the scallops. My favorite was also a sleeper. I'm gonna go with the whelks. You like that big whelk. I did, I did, I really liked yes. it. Okay, so round three. A rainbow of tartars, scallops, mm -hmm. beef, mm -hmm. tuna. Tuna. And this is watermelon, watermelon. right? Yes. Plant forward. There's a um, actually a big chunk of vegetarian mm -hmm. food on this menu. Mm -hmm. Or so fresh. Really refreshing and the feta, super creamy. Yeah. Tuna. Yeah. Mm. Super tropical. It's creamy with the avocado and the mango. Yeah. It's really good. It's like a poke bowl en France. Mi tuna, mi avocado, mi mamuang. Lago bai mi nit nung. Galang podi loy. Scallops next. Look at this is what I lift for. Cauliflower and apple creme mm -hmm. atop the scallops. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So beautiful. Whoa. That's like a flavor bomb. Mm -hmm. Like citrus, cream. The apple gives it. The apple, yes. Right? Yep. It gives it like Very a good fruity, texture. A fruity flavor. Mm and beef. It looks like a yes. cow in the woods. <laughs> Honestly, I love it mm -hmm. when they pre-mache mm. your tartare. It's so much simpler. I you know like table side cooking of it I is- I really like this one. Yeah, it's so good. This is my favorite one. Mm. My favorite is the scallops. So can you believe we have only just made it to the starters? Round four. Round but four. Cold starters. Mm. Yeah. Looks really good. Okay, so we have. Where should we start? This is uh, salmon marinated in mm -hmm. beetroot mm -hmm. with some cod crab. Cod cream. Okay. Foie gras, mm -hmm. mango chutney, mm -hmm. gingerbread. gingerbread. I feel like that's gonna be pretty yummy. Yeah. Uh, Miso salad. salad. And then uh, pate en croute, which I have never heard of. Mm. A pate en croute with lobster in it. Go for it. Show me. Okay. Yep. Get all the mango. And gingerbread. Mango piece, mango chutney, gingerbread. I feel like this is too much flaw. The waiter said the balance would be perfect. Mm -hmm. He's right. Mm -hmm. Some creamy. Mm. And the mango gives it like. That fresh. Yeah, and some tang. Mm. Sweetness. That is good. Mm hmm. Salmon? Salmon. Honestly, I'm not a huge. That's really Beetroot fan, mm -hmm. but it doesn't seem too beady. No, nope. uh, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Go ahead. I'm doing it. Mm. I think the beetroot gives it like a richness. I, mm. I didn't expect like marinated, maybe kind of. You can it, taste the marinade. Yeah, you can. It tastes yep. kind of like less French than Scandinavian. Mm-hmm. ของ salmon ชัดเจนมากแล้วกลมกล่อมมากๆแล้วครีม Onto the niçoise. There's like little tiny quail eggs in here. That's pretty. The egg's really good because mm. it's got like the olive and anchovy tapenade in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like salty and umami. Okay. Mm. Tuna is like perfectly cooked. Mm -hmm. Eat my veggies. Delicious. <laughs> Especially mm. before we get to mm. this just plate of richness, honestly. I think the crust is like flaky. The lobster is so sweet. Yeah. And so moist. The pate is super flavorful. Mm -hmm. A lot of herbs. Mm -hmm. And then actually the lobster cuts it. Yep. I think that's definitely for sharing. Actually, all of these this are. This is my favorite one. I'm gonna go with the foie gingerbread. Mm. Yum. So let's talk a little bit about the wines. The cellar is only French, and it's only iconic wine houses from the classic regions. The difference is you've got a diversity and a price point that you'll be hard pressed to find elsewhere in Bangkok. Let's prep for the hot starters. For the hot starters. Mm. Local. Carrots. Chiang Mai. Mm -hmm. 
mm. carrots, a fennel and seafood mm. stew, onion soup, 63 degree egg. Yes. We'll eat the egg first. Do you think we should like? We should just dip it in. Should we do like? Should we yes. boomerang the? Let's boom. Ready? A little yolk horn. The mushrooms mm. give it this like earthy taste. It tastes. Yeah. Sage. The sage on the mm. bread is like. The whole thing, it actually tastes like the forest mm -hmm. in a really good way. Should we stay with the forest or should we go to the sea? Let's go into the forest. Okay. Off to Chiang Mai we go. Yeah. <laughs> right. I love purple carrots. The Taste. orange and carrot paste. Super citrusy. It's refreshing. Mm -hmm. It actually takes the like earthiness down from the carrots. Onto the soup. Okay, so I love French onion soup, mm. but I'm always picking the bread out. Oui, oui. Everyone gets mad at me. But here, the whole purpose, right, is to be lighter. Mm. Yeah, you can actually see the broth. I don't know how many onions are in there, but it's like a pure stock. I like, like that. This thing. Cook it, it in. inside. Soup for hom. This is actually it's bigger than soup for hom, which is traditional, and it's very Hom. So we get to this massive fennel and, and shellfish. <laughs> Stew. Let's try to do it for the camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're supposed to dip mm. the pastry into the soup. It does taste like fennel, but look mm. at all these like all animals in here. Goodness. All these delicious I'm a good mollusks. <laughs> Winner at the table. It's gotta be the egg for me. Uh, the fennel. fennel and fennel. shellfish stew. I do. Okay, so this is Chef Nicola, who has apparently brought us the main event. What, what do we have, Chef? So, you have the roast chicken, the Dover sole in uh, Meunier oh. style, and the last one is the sea bass in uh, seaside crust. Thank you so Thank much. You. We're super excited. Okay, sharing mains. Yes. <laughs> Eggplant. Eggplant. Cauliflower. And, I mean, I think we need to this all is take a too. This is insane. Sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. Insane. Mandolins and milfoid into a layer this cake. This is insane. Okay, we're gonna eat this first, but then we promise we're gonna eat all of the mm. rest of this. Oh, mm. oh. That's so insane. good. Okay, I actually think this would be perfect with the mm -hmm. chicken, so I'm gonna see. Mm. That's really good. It is. It tastes mm. exactly like what it's supposed to taste like. Super authentically French. Yeah, no mac. Cut it in half. And then I think it goes with this sauce. That sauce right here. Black aioli sauce. Oh my god, it's so mm. much lighter than I expected. No, we're gonna eat fish. It's in a beurre blanc. Again, so much lighter than mm -hmm. I expected. It's kind of hard to make a beurre blanc, especially like in a white fish that mm -hmm. soaks up the sauce. Mm -hmm. Are you enjoying yourself, Virginia? I am, thank you mm -hmm. for asking. Mm -hmm. um, should we go to the eggplant? I love eggplant because you can make it feel meaty, right. feel like light, mm -hmm. but it still like fills you up. Mm -hmm. It's got a little pomegranate on it. Yep. Mm. This eggplant, mm. to die for. This is um, makua um, paste, pesto, um, tap team, hom dong, and rocket salad. There's no Thai word for rocket. No. <laughs> Cheers to that. Okay, Dover sole. Mm. Oh, the texture. Mm. I love Munier. It's got like just a lightest layer of crust. My favorite, the potatoes. You are so mean. I am this table, I'm gonna go with the chicken. Okay. Are you Art. full? <laughs> you're not. Yes, I'm full. No, you're not. I am full, but they promised mm. this is the last course of mains. Yes. Seafood soup, steak, courgette, and tomatoes stuffed with uh, feta and other vegetables. And what do you have over there next to you? Um, fish. Fish. Wrapped in banana leaves. Mm. Lamb chops. Lamb chops. It's the perfect texture of the lamb. Perfect bite. It's not gamey at all. Mm. <gasps> Those might be my new favorite lamb chops. It's your favorite. In Bangkok. Mm. Onto the soup. Seafood. Seafood soup. soup. It's got texture, which mm -hmm. I wouldn't really expect. It's like they ground up the which fish I like. in there. Let's move on to the steak. What you should do always with the steak is cut it down the center. The cooking. In right. The middle, right. Mm. It's really hard to cook a steak this thin. Right. This, this perfectly. perfect. 
very um, flavorful black pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. What we call in Thai, Thai dam sauce. Oh, mm -hmm. let's do the potatoes. Got All right. You're right about a browning on top. Just that, followed with a bite of that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Janine. That was so good. Mm -hmm. I say courgette. Let's do that. Tomatoes stuffed with other vegetables. So cute. It's like a little mm -hmm. smurf. Okay, actually, so glad we saved this till right now because it's super light and actually refreshing. It is. I'm a believer. <laughs> so good. Give me more. Would you like, as the Thai person at this table, mm -hmm. to open the banana leaf of fish? Okay, let's do it. Okay. So this is interesting. A French Thai twist. Huh? <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Look at that. What? What is that? That is such good sauce. The garlic, mm. the fish mm. cuts the garlic. Yeah, yeah. It's just like the perfect it's vehicle. So good. Perfect dish for perfect. like a French Thai perfect. melange mm -hmm. of flavors. Mm -hmm. So you pick the fish, the fish as your favorite. Yes. I'm gonna go with the lamb. This is Chef de Pâtissier, Bruce. Bruce. So this is the omelette norvegienne which are banana and local passion fruit. Mm, yeah. So it's very, very light and refreshing. Then uh, this is our profiterole, the chocolate sauce that we put on the top. Yeah, the cocoa bean are from the north of Thailand. So this is like pretty local dessert. Yes, absolutely. And then the creme brulee. But it looks really tropical. So on the top, we have some pieces of uh, papaya, mango, and pineapple with some confit lime zest to refresh a little bit. Mm, nice. Palette. This is my vision of the milfeuille. We decided to make it very crispy, very light, very delicate. Mm. Are you ready? The ice cream, sea urchin, passion fruit, banana. It reminds me of childhood. That's delicious. Mm. Profiterole. Okay. What is the crunchy on the inside? This is so good. This tastes like the best version of a mm. Carvel ice cream cake I've mm. ever had. It's like this creamy vanilla ice cream. I love this one. Fresh flavors. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's plantation pineapple, which is some of the best rum. Exactly. Pina colada-ish. I say we go creme brulee. <laughs> Look, it's perfect. Look at that. That sugary perfect. crust on the top. Crust. It's like strong on the mm -hmm. vanilla, which I think is super yum, in the creme. Mm -hmm. A crunch. Look at that. Wow. Mm. Wow. It's insane. It's so good. The crunch, mm. the flakiness. The flavor. And it looks like it would be too rich, it right? But it's actually perfect. really light. ขนมหวานอร่อยมากอันนี้หวานกรอบหอมเพอร์เฟกต์มากในหนึ่งคำหยุดไม่ได้จริงๆเลยมากในหนึ่งคำ <laughs> means unstoppable which she said we need it we how are you feeling did it <laughs> Satisfied. What would you get? Go for it. Surprise! Janine loves the whelk, um, but the also whelk. yeah, the giant whelk, <laughs> the scallop tartare, mm -hmm. and oh, the chicken, the like the chicken. perfect French rotisserie chicken with the potatoes gratin. For me, the lamb. Yeah, the lamb chop for yeah, sure. Insane. The Dover sole was really good. French onion soup, super light. Yeah, super refreshing. And dessert is so hard. I like all of them.